Live here and love it, you know why. More people are moving to Spokane to make their home in the Lilac City, and that brings with it some concerns. A new report shows they're coming. Spokane is one of the top five cities where people are moving to and not moving from. That means more crowding at schools, more demand for housing, and more competition for jobs. Emily Bloom is here with what that report shows and what it means for us. You can read the writing on the wall and surveys are showing us everywhere, pointing to the fact that Spokane is at the forefront for people looking to relocate. Updater ranked Spokane number five for inbound cities in 2020 by analyzing each city's population gains and losses. Spokane moved up 19 spots from last year and is fifth behind only to Greenville, North Carolina, Las Vegas, Tallahassee and Denver. According to the National Association of Realtors, Spokane is in the top 10 markets for pandemic resilience and is likely to keep doing well in a post-COVID-19 world. They cited unemployment rates, American migration, leisure and hospital industries, just to name a few. We've looked at numbers from Advantage Spokane that show Spokane within Spokane County has been steady over the past decade, adding 42,000 people since 2011, and that growth is expected to continue into next year as well. That creates opportunities for new innovations, new businesses, all of those things that are part of building a robust um, economy. Alicia Benson with Greater Spokane is hopeful about the growth. We get to wake up every day and be inspired by the resiliency, the grit, the innovation of this community. And there are so many incredible uh, business owners and organizations. Spokane has it all. The restaurants and venues, but the cultural life things such as the outdoors that are important to families as well. We're big enough but small enough that we all we know each other and so the, the way people are partnering and collaborating and the ability to access each other to do big things um, is part of our secret sauce here in Spokane and it's pretty awesome. Benson recognizes that as the community grows it's important not to lose track of the things that define a community. Transportation, how are we thinking about attainable housing? And some people are concerned about just that. The situation is nothing short of frustrating for those trying to get into Spokane you might have to write three or four offers to get that house. And the emotional ups and downs for, it's very hard to watch your clients go through that. Eric Johnson, president of Spokane Association of Realtors, says statistically, we can't keep up. We don't have the labor to build it. And then, you know, then there's the regulation side of things that we're, we're working with at the state and, and local level to try to ease regulations to, you know, capacitate some of that supply coming on, online sooner. Right now, Greater Spokane is laser focused on recovering from the recession. Uh, on a broader scale is uh, we're doing a lot of work on all of the growth that we've been building, all of the um, things around life and health sciences in our community, beginning to tell the world about that. And they're trying to make this growth happen in the right way. Uh, it's coming. People are moving here. We're seeing that. The data is showing that. And so we can either be part of how we chart that course or we can let it happen to us. And I think that's um, where we're wanting to engage and, um, and be involved in that strategy. One realtor we spoke with said because of the competition, some Spokane natives are buying property and getting out of town just a little bit. Those looking for a new home understand what's happening, but the situation makes it much tougher to land that dream home. The effects of our growing community is something we're going to continue to follow.